Good afternoon, and welcome to the Eagle Court of Honors program. Would everyone please stand for the presentation of the co colors? We thank you, Lord, for this day and this court of honor. Be sure with us as we celebrate the achievements of Eagle Scouts Cade Buer, Ethan Hersom, Braden Wendiger, Wyatt Weeby, and Wiley Weeby. We give thanks for the parents and leaders who have given these Eagle Scout candidates and their fellow Scouts this opportunity. Help us to remember that all good things come from you and see your hand in all our accomplishments. Amen. To earn the highest rank in scouting, a scout must spend a great deal of time and effort. Therefore, the, therefore, the occasion that recognizes his accomplishments should be memorable. This afternoon, we shall follow light of the Eagles Trail as we recognize the accomplishments of Cade Buer, Ethan Hersom, Braden Windiger, Wyatt Weeby, and Wiley Weeby. When a boy becomes a Boy Scout, there is within him something that we call the spirit of, of scouting. This single lit candle before you represents that spirit. Because the spirit of scouting embodies the principles of scout, oath, and law, it becomes a shining beacon of inspiration. Alone, this light may seem feeble, but when multiplied by the millions of boys in scoutings around the world, it is powerful indeed. After a boy enters scouting, the scout law that he promises to obey begins to guide his life. One by one, using the flames from the spirit of scouting, we shall light the symbols for each part of the scout law. There are 12 parts, each an important foundation in the building of strong character. Scout law will now be read. Set together. A scout is uh, trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient. 
The foremost responsibility of an Eagle Scout is to live with honor. To an Eagle Scout, honor is the foundation of all character. He knows that it is a, a scout is trustworthy, is very, the very uh, first point of the scout law for a good reason. An Eagle Scout lives honorably, not only because honor is important to him, but because of the vital significance of the example he sets for other scouts. Living honorably reflects credit on his home, his church, his troop, and his community. May the white of the Eagle ba badge remind you of always to live with honor. The second obligation of an Eagle Scout is loyalty. A scout is true to his family, scout leaders, friends, school, and nation. His loyalty is to, his, to his troop and his brother scouts make him pitch in and carry his share of the load. All of these help build the loyalty, which means devotion to community, to country, to one's own ideals, and to God. Let the blue of the Eagle Badge always inspire your loyalty. The third obligation of an Eagle Scout is to be courageous. courageous. Courage has always been a quality by which men measure themselves and others. To a scout, bravery means not only the courage to face physical danger, but the determined to stand for the right. Trusting in God with faith in his fellow man, he looks forward to each day seeking his share of the world's work to do. Let the red of the eagle badge remind you always of courage. The final responsibility of an Eagle Scout is service. The Eagle Scout extends a helping hand to those who still toil up um, Scouting's trail, just as others helped him with his climb to the Eagle. The performance of the daily good turn takes on a new meaning when he enters more, a more adult life of continuing service to others. The Eagle stands as a protector of the weak and helpless. He aids and comforts in the unfortunate and the oppressed. He upholds the rights of others while defending his own. He will always be prepared to put forth his best. You, Cade, Ethan, Braden, Wyatt, and Wiley are deserving of much credit in having achieved Scouting's highest award. However, wear your award with humility, ever mindful that the Eagle Scout is looked upon to as an example. May the out scout oath and the scout law be your guide for tomorrow and onward. Along with the trail of the achievement, your scout masters have given you advice and encouragement. I call upon your scout master, Mr. Lowry, to vouch for you tonight. Sir, be before presenting Cade, Ethan, Braden, Wyatt, and Wiley with the Eagle Award, we would like to have your assurance that they have been faithful in serving their troop in giving leadership to its scouts, in practicing the principles of the scout oath and law, and practicing the good turn in their daily life. Upon these qualifications, Mr. Lowry, are your scouts entitled to the honor of the Eagle Badge, what the Eagle Badge represents? Yes, they are. Eagle candidates Cade, Ethan, Braden, Wyatt, and Wiley, what did you, what promise did you take when you became a Tenderfoot Scout? Oh, the Scout Oath. Is there any reason why we should not renew this promise now? No. Then I ask you, now let's give the Scout Oath. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty God and my country, and obey the scout law, help other people at all times, keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. distant looms the hazy outline of Eagle Summit, flanked by the lesser peaks that represent the star and life ranks. To the new scout, they are far away, but they will come a lot closer 
as light from the spirit of scouting continues to spread. The scout begins as a tenderfoot. The tenderfoot badge is the first rank of scout issued. It stands at the foot of the eagle's trail. Once inspired by the spirit of scouting, you won't stay a tenderfoot very long. Putting his effusive wickedness behind him, he will shortly climb to the rank of second class. Requirements of second class become more difficult. A scout must learn to be self-sufficient in the outdoors and continue to render service to others. Now the scout is ready for the challenge to attain first class. Although the requirements become more difficult, he keeps climbing until finally comes the day when he tops the first summit along the Eagle Trail. There he receives his star rank. A broad field of merit badges awaits the first class scout. More than 100 merit badges guide the scout to explore careers, hobbies, and community interest items. The scout needs a total of six to conquer the Star Scout Summit. Probably a lot sooner than he thought possible, the scout finds himself standing on Star Ridge. Thus, through leadership, service, and achievement, he conquers the first three three great peaks along the Eagle Trail. The next trail, the trail to the next summit, Life Scout. The Life Scout peak isn't easy. There is leadership to demonstrate, service to others, and plenty of hard work in mastering five additional merit badges and helping fellow scouts. The higher the scout climbs, the fewer travelers he meets along the trail. Yet there are no impossible barriers along the way. The Life Scout's goal can be achieved, but it takes real effort. While the rank of Life Scout is a coveted one and deserving to all who obtain it, the Eagle Trail does not end there. It leads on toward a higher summit. The pathway narrows and steepens considerably as it winds along the ledges of personal achievement and mountain pastures of troop accomplishments. Mile by mile, the trail becomes more tiring. Many challenges must be conquered in the last mile. Before the highest summit along the Eagle Trail can be completed, additional merit badges must be earned. Some of them are very difficult, and leadership and service to others are not forgotten. Only with the greatest persistence and courage can the scout gain the thrill of victory that comes while looking down the trail from the top of Eagle Summit. Eagle candidates, Cade Buer, Ethan Hersom, Braden Wendinger, Wyatt Wiebe, and Wiley Wiebe, you are to be congratulated for reaching the highest peak of the Eagle Trail. Your diligence and hard work have paid off. You have made Troop 322 very proud. May the qualities that inspire you to this achievement continue to lead you on to even greater success in your life. As an Eagle Scout, all the eyes of scouting, yes, the eyes of the world, will be upon you. The traditions of Eagle Scout are high. May you live up to those traditions, always guided by the spirit of scouting. Represented by the, these blazing candles before you, the Eagle Badge that you are about to receive is, a, is symbolic of the spirit of scouting. I ask the parents of Cade, Ethan, Braden, Wyatt, and Wiley Please come forward to help with these badges. Eagle candidates, your father will help you carry the standard of your award to the highest peak of attainment, since the very best is expected of an Eagle Scout in exemplary con conduct, character, achievement, and leadership ability. 
I'm going to ask your father, who has stood by you loyally, loyally to pledge his willingness to continue to help you. Mr. Buer, Mr. Hersom, Mr. Windiger, and Mr. Wiebe, will you agree to continue to help your son so that they may grow in character and with those leadership qualities that an Eagle Scout should have? Eagle Scout candidates, pin this miniature badge over your father's heart in recognition of his love, encouragement, faith, and trust in your future. As an Eagle Scout, may you never disappoint him. Fathers, pin this eagle badge on your son's chest so that the world may know that he is now an eagle scout.
Eagle Scout candidates, your mother has undoubted, undoubtedly been pr a primary source of your help in your scout work. No one will ever know the unnumbered acts of self-sacrifice and helpfulness from mothers of an Eagle Scout candidates, which has led us to this e afternoon. As a symbol of what their mothers have made possible, Mrs. Buer, Mrs. Hersom, Mrs. Windiger, and Mrs. Wiebe, do you agree to continue to help your son so that he may grow in character and with those leadership qualities that an Eagle Scout should have? Eagle Scout candidates, pin this miniature badge over your mother's heart in recognition of her love, encouragement, faith, and trust in your future. As an Eagle Scout, may you never disappoint her. Boy Scouts of America has created the Eagle Mentor Pin as a way of honoring those whose efforts have assisted a scout to reach the Eagle Scout rank. Today, Braden would like to honor Brett Buer for his significant help in making this achievement possible. Eagle Candidate Cade, it is now my pleasure to introduce you as Eagle Scout Cade Buer. <laughs> Eagle Candidate Ethan, it is now my pleasure to introduce you as Eagle Scout Ethan Herson. Eagle Candidate Braden, it is now my pleasure to introduce you as Eagle Scout Braden Wendinger. <laughs> Eagle Candidate Wyatt, it is now my pleasure to introduce you as Eagle Scout Wyatt Weeby. <laughs> Eagle Candidate Wiley, it is now my pleasure to introduce you as Eagle Scout Wiley Weeby. <laughs> Will all the Eagle Scouts here tonight please stand and renew your Eagle Scout promise as Cade, Ethan, Braden, Wyatt, and Wiley join our brotherhood. Scout sign. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, and to obey the Scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. To Please be seated. Cade, Ethan, Braden, Wyatt, and Wiley. Cade, Ethan, Braden, Wyatt, and Wiley, 
Your conduct along the trail has been excellent. You have rededicated yourself to the principles of scouting. But one more thing is important, your future. As an Eagle Scout, you become a guide to other scouts. You become an example in your community. Remember that your actions are now a little more conspicuous and people will expect more of you. To falter in your responsibility would reflect not only you, but on your fellow Eagle Scouts and all of scouting. The torch you carry is not only yours, but is also ours. Will the audience please rise and give the Eagle Scouts Cade Buer, Ethan Hersom, Braden Windiger, Wyatt Weeby, and Wiley Weeby another round of applause. <laughs> and each of the Scouts have a little few words to share with us tonight, this afternoon. Cade? First, I would like to thank everybody for coming to our Eagle Scout ceremony tonight. Then I'd like to thank both my parents and all of the uh, Scout uh, leaders I've had that have taught me and supported me along the way. It's been a great 11 years in scouting since the first day I signed up in kindergarten. There are so many amazing things that I've gotten to experience because of scouting. I have no doubt all the skills I've learned will be useful in life and help me be a better person. Thank you. Thank you all for coming to our Court of Honor. Uh, it's such an honor for me to receive my Eagle Scout Award after eight years of scouting. Uh, I would like to thank Brett, Will, and Paul. If it weren't for your guidance and commitment to the troop, I probably wouldn't be here today accepting this honor. I would like to thank my peers, both all the boys that are still in scouting, and those who have already graduated through the scouting and left a legacy that we've all tried to fill. Finally, I would like to thank, thank my parents they made sure that I stayed with the scouting on the Eagle Trail and just like my dad. Thank, they have been with me every step of the way, making sure I've always stayed on track. Mom, whether it was filling out piles of paperwork or helping me get my gear ready for campouts and dealing with my laundry when I get home. Dad driving several trips to Many Point and helping my various scout projects. Thank you for everything you've done for me and through my journey. Thank you all for coming today. I would like to thank my parents for helping me on my journey to become an Eagle Scout. I would also like to thank all the parents who volunteered and helped out with the Scout Troop. Uh, it has been a long journey to reach this point and I know that I wouldn't have made it without all this help. And I hope to continue contributing to the Boy Scouts community. I'd like to thank my parents and the rest of my family for supporting me on my Boy Scout career. I'd also like to thank the Scout Masters and other Scouts for teaching me new skills, showing me how to do things, and getting me to where I am today. Thank you. Hi, uh, I would like to thank my parents for supporting me as I became a Boy Scout. I know that it took a lot of hard work and dedication to do that, so I really thank you. Uh, I'd also like to thank the Boy Scouts for teaching me lots of life skills that I'll use later on on my path. I'd also like to thank everyone for coming and supporting us through wreaths and just showing up at these events. Thank you. May we have the retiring of the colors, please.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our Eagle Court of Honor. Thank you for joining us.